I never imagined it would go so well or so fast. In 2018, we did an aerial survey. You know, so counting only the big animals, we counted 100,000 large animals from the air. Thrilled as he is, it wasn't wildlife that drew this 63-year-old Idaho native to Africa. In 2008, he introduced us to the 200,000 people living around the park, survivors of the wars, living on a dollar a day. People had nothing. I mean, they didn't have clothes. They were wearing rags or they had made clothes out of tree bark. They were eating insects and trying to catch mice. And, you know, that's when it struck me. Well, this national park's going to have to help the people. Today, Gorongosa National Park employs 1,600 workers. Tourism brings in cash, which goes to the people and to the park. And Greg Carr has partnered with the government on health care and education. Carr is the biggest donor, but U.S. foreign aid kicks in about six million a year. We now work in 89 primary schools, which is every single school that surrounds this national park. We are training 600 school teachers right now. Now think about how difficult it is to create a school system when you don't have school teachers that know how to read and write because of generations of war. Now something we really focused on as step one was really vulnerable girls. Now a lot of times what happens in the poor families around here, a girl turns 13 or 14 and the family says, well, it's time for her to get married. Now it may not be what they actually want, but they don't, they don't think there's another choice. And this is what happens and you know, she marries a farmer and that's it. So we started something called the Girls Club. There are 3,000 girls in 92 after school clubs. The program is led by Larissa Souza. Why is this the job of a conservation park? Why not? It should be the job for everyone, for everyone. Education is for everyone. What's it? The clubs provide the resources to get the girls into high school. And it gives students an answer to our question, which five years ago wouldn't have made sense. What do you want to be? We have a teacher, a nurse, a conservation park ranger, and another nurse. Another nurse, yes. When we started the program, they didn't know that they had this choice. And now they do? Now they do.